you're listening to Independent TV 7 on the headline which says uh, Tinubu rubbish is a uh, Peter will be Labour Party's final address and uh, describe it as a uh, fiction. That's coming from PPC. Well, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima have branded the final briefing address of Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi at the presidential election petition course. Now, PPC as a fiction and expe- expedition, ah, all these people with English, well, expedition and a frolic of a sort. Cool. I hope you understand that part because me, I don't understand the expedition and the frolic of a sort. Now, they said in their response to Obi's final written address that rather than prove the claims in his petition that he won the February 25th election. The petitioners have been so busy and occupied, miling around the worn out and obsolete subject of the contrived disqualification of the respondents. Okay. They also dismiss as an unfamable obese call for a rerun between him and the PDP People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. Now, Peter Obi and his party, the respondents argued, even. Uh, I have no local standing to present a petition challenging the second respondent, which is Tinumbu, on the purported ground that he did not score 25% of vote cast in the Federal Capital Territory, having been constitutionally barred and or excluded from participating in any rerun of election. In the unlikely event of the court making such an order, as section 134 bracket 3 of A and B of the Constitution prohibits and excludes him from so doing. Now, Tinubu and Shatima's response was filed on Friday by their lead counsel, Chief Wali Olanikwekun, senior advocate of Nigeria. Olanikwekun said that in the unlikely event of a rerun, OB and the Labour Party would be excluded on the strength of provision of section 134 bracket 3 of A and B of the Constitution. And that part of the Constitution reads, in a default of a candidate duly elected in accordance with subsection 2 of this section, there shall be a second election in accordance with the only candidate sh- shall be A, the candidate who scored the highest number of votes at any election held in accordance with the said subsection 2 of this section and uh, on the B path, one among the remaining candidates who has a majority of votes in the highest number of states. So however, that where there are more than one candidate with majority of votes in the highest number of states, the candidate among them with the highest total of votes cast at the election shall be the second candidate for the election. Peter Obi and the Labour Party add in their petition asked the court to order a rerun on the grounds that Tinubu did not score 25% of votes in federal capital territory, which is the FCC. In other words, Tinubu and Shetima, however, said in their reply to the final written address by OB and the Labour Party that the petitioners lack local standing to present a petition challenging the second respondent. Tinubu on the purported ground that it did not score 25% of votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory. Now, that said, or rather they said that even if a run was ordered, OB can only vote and cannot be voted for as the duel or contest which now be between the second respondent and the person who scored the next majority of votes in the highest number of states, which is the 19 states. And who also came second by plural uh, plurality of votes, you know, simultaneously that is Alaji Abubakar Atiku. Okay, now Olani Kwekun said, borrowing the language of the Supreme uh, Supreme Court in the celebration, and also on the case that has been celebrated of Thomas uh, V. Olufo Yoshi. Well, I don't know that pronunciation much. Now, in 1996, one uh, NWLR uh, path 18669, which is the second petitioner, Mr. Obi, is a meddlesome uh, interloper as he is presenting a case where he will derive no 
utilitarian value okay the respondents urged the president to you know temper justice mercy or rather the court for dismiss the petition on the grounds that not only did the petitioners fail to show that peter will be won the election they failed to prove their case with relevant evidence in their words uh, the evidence presented by the petitioners themselves points to the fact that all the electionary processes of uh, accreditation voting sorting counting entering into the respective form ec8a and manual transfer to the coalition center went smoothly none of the witnesses called by the petitioners offered any scintilla of evidence to avail the court of the total number of votes that should be due to the petitioners and as a result of the non-electronic transmission of votes for the irev and the number of votes that have been unduly credited to the second respondent for the same reason and by the imperative of section 134 uh, 135 bracket one of the electoral act the mere fact that results were not transmitted through the irev cannot operate to ground an uh, invalidation of an election now the ad copy of the form ec8a is the building block for any collision of results by paragraph 93 of the regulations Electronic copy is only relevant where the ad copy of the form, which is the ECFA, is not available at the collation center, and that even the absence of the electronic copy, a recourse should be made to either the copy given to the party agent or police officers. Now they said that contrary to the petitioners, claim that no glitch occurred during the transmission of uh, results of the election to irev one of the is part witness uh, bracket pw7 admitted on that cross examination by the respondent counsel that the amazon web service aws server as in recent past suffered numerous outage wow now suffering numerous out uh, numerous outages uh, including the ones of 28 february 2017 and the over 27 others as at 2021 admitting the possibility of other outage as according to R, anything is possible they further noted that uh, on the close of evidence it has become glaring that none of the reliefs uh, prayed for by the petitioners is grantable uh, besides the respondent said the petition should be dismissed on account of clear manifestation and display of abandonment of the entire petition by OB and Labour Party in the final written address. Wow! Now, finally, Order 22 Rule 5 of the Federal High Court and Civil Procedure Rules 2019, which is applicable to the proceedings. A mandate that a written address shall contain uh, the issues arising from the evidence for determination which they said well this way i'm going to draw the curtain there are atamo atamo there are witches and wizards in tormenting themselves you know uh, in the political arena but i believe uh, the leaders still know what they are doing so they are the one manipulating the country so anywhere they want to manipulate the country to or uh, maybe where they want to reach we are looking at them like this we are seeing them we are seeing their atrocities subsidy remover okay is a glitch higher ev did not get a glitch but the rigging of election had a glitch well this is why i'm going to draw the curtain i'd like to share your views in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as independent tv7